Hey guys, so if you are watching this video, that means that you have already completed Tuesday's DLR, and now we are going to go over the answers for Tuesday. Um, so the first one says, tell what the underlying figures of speech mean. So you're giving them meaning. Number one, he has ants in his pants. Ooh, 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 ants in his pants. What does that mean to you guys? What does it mean to have ants in your pants? So you go over here and make a text box, draw the text box. And to me, ants in his pants means that he won't stop squirming or moving around. So let's put that. He won't stop moving around. Fidgety, right? Uh, number two, time flew when they were at recess. Can time really fly? No, time cannot really fly, but what can happen was time really went fast. Time went fast during recess. Okay. All right. Three and four says correct the sentences. Has you ever been to a rodeo? Has you? Well, let's change that. Make a text box and capitalize it. We're going to change has to have. Have you ever been to a to a rodeo? Not an rodeo, because remember, an, when you have that an right there, that means that this next letter is going to be a vowel. So, have you ever been to a rodeo? And that's a question. It's a question mark. Have you ever been to a rodeo? That sounds great. All right, number four. I'm glad that Elizabeth is in our class this year. There's a lot of mistakes in this one. Make my text box. First one is I'm. Now, the word I'm is actually two words. So, you can put I am or I'm. You can do the uh, conjunction. I'm. Contraction, excuse me. Contraction. I'm glad that Elizabeth, capitalized Elizabeth, is in our. Now, the hour they have there, H-O-U-R, is the time. This is actually our. Our class this year period. And you can also drag your text box out a little bit more. So you've got your contraction, I'm, which is I am. Glad that Elizabeth, she is a proper noun, that's her name, is in our, not our, because the H indicates the time, class this year. Done. All right. Uh, five says, is this a sentence or not a sentence? Now, usually when we're looking at if it's a sentence or not, you've got to have a subject of your sentence and a predicate of, a, of your sentence. So, number five, this weekend, the mail will not be delivered. All right? So, when you look at that sentence, it's a complete sentence. This weekend, this weekend the mail will not be delivered. There's a subject and a predicate there. Go ahead now, and you can just type in sent, uh, sentence. Here we go. And we are all done. Remember, if something happens and you accidentally delete your slide, you hit delete and it goes away. Just hit undo up here and it'll reappear. All right, guys. So go ahead and move on to Wednesday. And if you have any questions, let me know. Bye.